So we're heading into stage two itself. This is aggro. fast. Yeah, very aggro. Stun already being offset, used. Victor taking his angle. John QT. Spike down. And everybody being collected up and corralled into this corner here. Sentinels now being squeezed, having to use a bit of util now to see if they can pave a way back out of this fight. It's a great idea to slow the tempo down. They have spike. Oh. I like the idea that energy are not forcing the fight. They play that set strat at the beginning. And now the battle becomes collecting the objective. Spike drop down as well. Plenty of players left to watch here. NRG are more than favoured. You look at the damage across these Sentinels players, you'd have to see some miraculous shots. Fault line. There, just in case. Goes down to a crawl. It's so difficult to get this back. NRG's strategy has just worked excellently. Smoke. Dissipates, door open by tens. Can he hit a shot to turn this fight, isn't it? If he can get anything done, but no, Sob survives and they all topple in the end. So, pistol oh, no, 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 of course. Celsius would never call out Finesse saying he's a 42 year old. <laughs> no, never. But they worked away towards the A side anyway. It's open for them. Especially with that kill there onto Som. Remember, Spike slap the impact it. playing the clove. I know exactly All grouped up from NRG. It's a bonus round for them as well, so the weaponry is a little bit weaker. See if they can make their mark. No Neural theft. Gonna be spotting up most of them. Sentinel's post plan position as well. It's pretty immaculate here. It's hard to see them even losing this one. Stuns set up. Able to catch the contact of any of these players here with a horn. Dealt with Finesto right from the side. Grab that. Oh, no. oh boy! TP just about, but still the stuns are coming through. Plenty of them where that came from. Wingman, the fuse, nade, rebounds. Gonna be broken here. Gonna get bodies onto this one for any chance of winning. Sticking, crashes, forwards, all the way, but not enough. Celsius! A lot of space here. Oh, Tens, he's eager for the first engagement now, realizing he's gonna be caught and trapped. The TPs can't escape it. Victor, he's so fast onto it. An attempt of a pivot there by Sentinels, at least to maybe relieve some of that pressure. They open wide the door, but now lurking their way forward, Zelsis. Look how good new Neon looks in that situation as well. Yeah. Victor's just able to capitalize on that so quickly. But Sen, you're right, Brett. They've found a bit of space here. And NRG gave up so much of the rest of the map by stacking he's four good. players on C as they have been doing for a lot of their defense rounds. They are a Sen overthinking this, though. Yeah, go on walkabouts. And Tap. into Crashies. Crashies got his back to all of them, essentially. He's just watching a slight pixel angle, I think, from this position. And yeah, he is none the wiser, it seems like. And gaps in the defensive protocols there. And our G, they have only had basically a month together, so it's going to be expected. Just not fast enough on the pivot to cover those holes. Planted the spike. They knew, of course, that it was a fake over towards B, but maybe just expecting Sen to be trying to draw out defensive utility, not going for a big push like that. Yeah. It was bold. It was a crazy play. And still, them into a 3v3. Smoke's now down again. Celsius here and all this noise being made. Victor is well ahead of the rest of his team. Medal rebounds. Low HP in the end, but not enough for the kill. And Zekin still holding his ground in from the side. And this trip contact. Purely contact up until... Right now, explosive with the satchel play straight into the side to cut the spike. The, the spike is a such spike. danger. Yeah. Rotating away, now it's dropped down. Spike no man's down land. Full eight. control now for NRG and chaos. No 30 seconds That's what the round's been thrown into. Of only 30 seconds left, at risk of a melons moment. But we'll see if it ends up playing like this one. And Sentinels just make the call to save. It's back away. No, they've got the ult. No, they've got the ult to yeah. play with here. So Tens is going to be able to pick that up. <laughs> Some, can't be you, can't, you can't deny it with just one player. Yeah. Oh, and it's a travesty. I mean, a fall wire. Okay, rolling thunder to try and deny this one. Still, second's got enough time. Down below, stuns up. Second plant sticks it, but eventually fall. Over here, this. Is it going to be some kind of trap? No, nope, they're just shoving it in. Four players going forward. Stuns. A bit of friendly fire. Barrier, oh my God. I mean, second. I got you, I got you. It's a hard shot to hit with the victor on the neon. Fast moving all around the place here. Now it's up to Som. No saw the presence of the players over towards A. It's up to him to see if he can beat that Star Wars defender. But he's got Zekin with a showstopper to deal with. Still instant ult. Popped off. Satchels just evade him with the movement. Still he can't evade the rocket. Secondary cleanup now. Players moving into position from NRG. Already FNS looking for that early face. Drop down towards Pit. 
Wingman gonna be missing his mark, and that just leaves the crash. He's not gonna help. It's a rough one. Definitely a rough one. Sentinels looking drilled on these angles. Lost the big ult cycle. So there's a chance here for NRG to get back into things. No, but probably not in this round. Or open wide, just bait out. It's in pieces of the utility from NRG. They got their sights set towards B, and that's a lovely combo. See, somehow, not connecting into the corner there, so some surviving four now, but it's great, isn't they? They've known Ethan, they've played with Ethan. Deep smoke. What is that? It's beautiful. Keen eye from Victor, and even sharper aim. It's rattling. It looks like B is going to be the goal still. Going to be slowed down and stunted. Fault line missing. Being held off the contact of Ethan. What is the call now? Over towards B is really the only option for Sentinels. You've got to try and lock this one down. Not going to be pushed back and prevented from planting. So an extension into the round for Sentinels themselves. Double phase is nice. NRG. Cool, calm and collected. My God, man, that is nasty from Crashies. Zek and the final player looking to hold off the horde. This is looking like NRG have got themselves in a great situation to convert. And 1v4 is just not possible. The jiggle peaks, the little shoulder peaks the Crashies throws out there. Victor is providing them all the information over on the other side of the map. Throwing next. Grab their forwards. Fault line's good as well, slows it back and around here. Zekin's gone walkabout, he's got upstairs here. And it meant this... The fact that the deadlock wall was used should mean that Crashies isn't nice. paying too much attention to it, but he absolutely is. Still watching, he's going to be taking a fight in the reclear. Still, oh, he didn't clear it the second who gets just the timing right against him. So I'm on the off angle. Doesn't catch it. Not a single player to be found there. All dropping down now. NRG. It's a game of timing. Second just spotted oh, on the line and up in a two piece. Only the one, though. Instantaneous with the trade. Victor threw through, and through there with the slide and the glide, but he just can't make it happen. Ethan's too low, really. Full clear it and decided... Specific matchup. They're having to force the fights early. Whoa, that's, that's early. Yeah, early showstopper just to clear Mount because okay. they have any prior control of this one. And the Satchels have all been used up. Second. Let's rip there with the ult, at least still the rocket rebound. Som still healthy, moving forward, spotting it with just the head. Bunny hopping around, still wants to take up that space. Put it back off the side. Broken all of Finesse's utility. Lost a little bait peak, and now they're heading into B. Okay, Nightfall being used, faking that presence and pressure. Applied over towards the B site. Not too sure how many more connections, but what is the site that Sentinels want to land on? It looks like they're uncertain themselves. They don't even know it. They double face it. Straight through and the trades this time. Advantageous. All for Sentinels. That stun is very annoying for Crashies to deal with. He doesn't want to give away his positioning because he feels like he has a good timing. But that means he can't well. really shoot. Yeah, any noise being made. And he would have been stunned up anyway. Dead to rise, bit with his players. Yeah, but the problem is. It's oh, it's a beauty! I was going to say, the problem is that Sen have actually adopted a slower protocol in response to that. They throw at the deadlock wall and then try to double face to shut down instead of reacting in the opposite direction. So it doesn't get the value. And now Finesse has been baited in. This is absolutely crazy stuff. But the IGL has got to step up to the challenge here. That's quite nice. Make your mark. Crash forwards. Lovely little but no, just about broken. Just about broken. It's still sassy. Holding his ground down with a rifle in hand. Beginning to feel like desperation here for NRG in this final round. Listening. But four on the board on the defense side, honestly, it might not even be that bad. I know they're about to run into a deadlock cypher comp on the defense, but NRG's composition themselves has a lot of explosive stuff to it. Yeah. Can NRG make it even better by winning an extremely unlikely 2v4 towards the end? I mean, with the time already burnt off the <laughs> clock, Som took a marathon sprint man just to get there. I don't see how this one's possible. It really doesn't look possible John has stuns in the post plan and the ult to work Yep, with. Annihilation. It's already holding it. Oh, Missed dodged. it. Yep, dodged. But again, the time's ticking. You can hear it onto the spike. And as soon as that smoke is ready to take the fight, but already anticipating that stun coming through. These, ooh, not quite avoided, but you can tuck into the corner just to delay the damage coming through. Victor still jump spot, least with all of that. Rapid into the movement. Beautiful work here, NRG dealing with any sort of an attempt of a refight. That is a fantastic dizzy. I think he threw it through the gap in the ceiling. 
to be able to put huge pressure onto those Sen guys. Raven that does rebound though. Catches. They're gonna be able to hear this one. Victor doesn't make any noise. Doesn't seek to even remove it still. Holds it down, getting a bit scrappy and a bit messy. Plans to try and break some of it, but really, I mean, you're not running a raise, so aftershock running forwards. What's going oh. on? There's no way, man. Oh, it's a tragedy. There's no way. Can't be doing that. Look down, slow down. 30 seconds. By all this utility, 30 seconds to make a move and a mark onto one of these sites here, but calls me made by NRG. They want to go over towards A. Finesse. All eyes on him. Smoke fades away. The positioning here. It's a slide off. Andrew sees the barrel and he's betrayed by it. It's a tens. He's offered an easy one. Ten though still with barely enough time on the clock. Ten seconds to go. Getting into it here, yeah, but trying to deal with the horn. I think just about revealed. So second plucks Ethan out of the scene. And only one remains. It's Crashies to do the most. On V-Play. Door rotates and second. You know, you know that you're going to be heading into three players here, most likely. You know, a deadlock wall is still up, so there's no reason for them to still be checking B. Box up, tens. Backs in the way, at least with the TP, so he's not going to be holding towards the back of the side. And the contact plays are working out in the favor of NRG. Yeah, and I'm surprised that Sen decided to play full offside there. They had three players, you know, two in committed positions and could have brought Sassy over. Speaking of committed, Victor, this spot, he needs to get value and he does do so. Four versus four, but really just locked down into place, but he saw it. The edge of the TP from Tens as well, and he knew precisely the timing to take. Double it up now. Abundance of players to help him out. There's still players that are going to be able really to that the fight had already been done and happened. NRG are also walking their way now in through the B side as a sensor at their back and they do need to be careful about this one because it's not just out of range of it making the noise just trying to pre-fire it now and find it but they can't quite spot it it's still there and it stuns them up bloody hell it's all being used conjunction connected up chained up but still how are these kills ending four versus four anyone's game still into this round actually calling for that pause bit of a buffer now as they want to bide it uh, it's a total bizarre one. And John Cutie used the Annihilation in the middle of all of that. Didn't find a kill off the back of it. Despite the fact he was shooting it into a couple of players stacked up. NRG slowing things down. This is pretty classic finesse. Looking to go for the re-hit on B. Another contact play. Trying to abuse the fact that they're not running into the Cypher here. That it's only the deadlock. Spike drop. It's a good call. It's the correct one. Open sight. Rash doesn't see anything. Gonna be sending this one back for the second go of things here. Fast flank. It's gonna be occurring by Sentinels, just trying to wrap themselves around. This is really early, and the fact that Tens is opening the door means that you're gonna be looking in that direction, not thinking about John and Sassy. Orchestrates quite a lot here. Thrash. It's really just being used out into the open. It's not oh, oh. detained and gliding. Tens. It's up to him to see if he can defend his team, but he only. Really managed to do it for but a moment now with the time ticking away against them. They're taking a sweet time of things. Got to get some bodies onto this one. Tens with a defuse, but the rolling thunder denies all. Kills. Not quite found, but still around win. <laughs> That's a bit of. I'm not sure if the gun was retrieved or pulled into the round by second. He is on low money, so. I have to imagine that. Maybe an investment on his part. Yeah, and Sassy has the other one. So everybody's set up now. Great read by Sentinels. Jump spot. A little bit off there. Potential for Zelsis to get punished, but he just skips and hops his way back to safety. And now we see ults being used. Showstop a second. It's forwards. Spearhead for the team. He needs a kill to make it worthwhile. Rebound him with the rocket. Damage done. Not enough for the kill. Crash is still alive and kicking. But still will fall. Classics doing enough but with the rifles picked up. The firepower is there in spades. Set. Finesse had the read. They went over towards C. They got themselves to sight. But these fights just happening so alone. Why is Ethan completely separated from the rest? How to... And I'm sure what he had the shocks. The only thing that can really clear these close trips. Beautiful time with the grab then. It's going to be locking down all sorts of players here. Victor. It's the ult in the overdrive. Look at the barrier mesh in their faces. So instantaneously back in action. Not dead yet, but he does need a kill to stay back into the fight. Still double faced up. Sentinels. They've got that discipline. Now seeing the back away from this engagement. 
Look how incredibly difficult it was for NRG to get through that with the Cypher and the Deadlock utility. Finesse has found a lovely timing, though. Great read on what was happening in the macro awareness of the map. He's slunk his way up into heaven. I think Crashy's here. Oh, he hasn't realized. Oh. Oh. Down, B. Perhaps not even really thinking that the door was open there and that was a possibility, but what a beautiful timing that Tenzer's got. Oh. Uh, timings. On timings. Tefanessa catches the back of the head of Tens. 2v2 still. Spike has been dropped down. Yeah. I think Sen should have a pretty good understanding of where people are. No way. The timing again. Oh, wow. They just missed each other. But it's Sassy with the edge once seconds more. Left. Ethan. Barely a smidge of HP. Only 30 health. One bullet to the chest. Oh, absolutely. Ah. That's two of them out of the way. Yeah. Thrash at least might be able to just tangle up some of them. Only onto the one. Hopping through, no kills collected, and there they are. Lit up entirely, no one dealing with the horns. It's a fast flood called out by Sentinels. They want to put an end and a stop Another to this trick. map entirely. Tangled up, rooted in place. And what more can you do? Annihilation. Movement skipping forwards here. Some just, just seeking to evade any sort of capture, but he can't evade the bullets. Nobody can. The one left to stand, and he for barely alive. Six seconds left. No options left other than to stick the plans, and they know it's over. Sentinel! Two lurkers around the rest of the map. Ooh. It gives them options, but one option just taken away by Victor. The other one, Tens, trying to lurk his way into B right now and telling the rest of the team to come back in that direction too. And so 30 what? seconds left. This is the call now. Sentinels. Four players up. They got straight through mid. Going for the B split. Still... On the back, Cam tagged up, taking a moment here to just pull it out of the body. Second, he's eager. Here's the reload. Time is really running short. Plenty of players. A rapid approach through the back of the site now. NRG not wasting any time from this one. What he got access to it? Tens. They're just a classic, even a pre fire into the smoke, anticipating that second player to move through. Sassy can really do some damage, and more so than that, to kill Found. A 2v1 is where Ethan is placed. Almost an impossibility for him to win. Such low HP. Tap, jump spots. And bullets find their heads. Great prediction. Som's walking down mid. Could he catch a timing here? Make some. Boy, here's the calm. He's looking for it. Finds it. Spots crashes too. He second does onto the entry. Still play at his advantage for NRG. And crashes decides not to try to make the hero play. Instead, going for a, a disadvantage retake. Just banking on the fact that they have some smoke to play around. Everybody in B main, though, these post plants, they work so often. Yeah, good luck. That's all you can say, really, a tap. Darts revealing at least two of them. Flash forwards. Go, go, go. The time ticking. Anybody going to be able to get themselves onto the spikes? And if they can isolate some of these fights again, no one has been sticking this spike or putting any pressure onto it this entire time. So finally on it, but he's going to be taken out from the defuse. Full line there. Crashes now has to stick this one all the way and it needs to be defended. Are you capable of it? And he said, that's the wrong way to think about it. You just have to prove it to yourself step by step every match. Here, looking to play a retake as Zekin's showstopper just opens up the whole of the B side. NRG's composition now in another spot where they have to try to use as little utility as possible to take the site back so that they can keep putting pressure B main. And Senna already one step ahead looking for that yeah. reflank as Zelsa's nah. John are in mid. It's John QT, man. It's the dagger in the dark. Like you said as well, that reflank of Zelsa is coming in through. It's being watched for by Finesse, still holding it. Crashes now. Fuse onto half as this whole body sticking this one. What do they have to push this one off? It's only bullets flying forwards and away, but still half gain. So I'm sticking in and nothing to deny. Oh. This time, NRG is oh. staying in the same state. We've even had a rapid you know, switch up and change up with the patch recently. You might think that's in the favor of a team like NRG, but it's a lot of building back up to make sure the map pool is up to scratch. Another retake situation. Two flashes, but no fragment for Ethan. It's proactivity. It's the name of the game right now for Sentinels. And look at that. Hook line sinker. It's Victor who's going to be caught. Catch to the side. Beautiful flash now with the refight. NRG. Want to make a go of this one. And they got to win this round. 
do indeed. The knife forward to the back. Ethan! It's the back of the head that is finally Whoa! killed and collected. These bullets are flying remaining. forwards. Spraying away, oh, finally. Flash overhead. Even with that, the stuns is a full line and a reface. Hunter's Fury will not help you out there. There's no one else to really capitalize off of this one. So Sentinels. Advantage gained, and that's just all from playing really slow. Waiting out the util, waiting out the aggression. This pushdown mid is quite after nice, the fact. Though. This yeah. pushdown mid is lovely because they're still trying to deal with Som spamming into that smoke. So they're not thinking about mid here, Sentinels. NRG have taken a lot of space and have still got a lot of information. That B main trip continues to tell NRG. Oh, crashies. Crashies. Oh, ah, brutal. Hops onto the box. Overstepping things may be just a tad. If he'd allowed the play to go into B, it would have had an awesome timing. And now a 3v5. Sentinels even realize it themselves. Oh boy, that was intended for 10s, I think, to maybe get that plant online for A, but at least he still has the space and positioning. Cross map knife. Not giving them anything at all for NRG. Doubled up together. 30 seconds left. Immaculate aim as to be expected from 10s. A spray down just can't quite be completed there for the two piece. Sassy. Drop down the spike, spots the last in this one. 30 seconds a lot of NRG players now looking at this B split. Sentinels, options that they even have. I mean, there's no signs of life anywhere. Sentinels are left really just scratching their heads. They're wondering which side is going to be free. Showstopper has to be used, and that's an old command to answer it. So Ethan, he can quickly rip away that old advantage, but it doesn't stop the gun. Bullets. Flying straight forward. Paranoia dodged and avoided. Still tagged up. Second, close to the pillar. He's got his teammates to back him up now. Side to side, shoulder to shoulder with the paranoia forwards. That is pure proactivity. There's absolutely nobody that can match this guy's freak. Finesse is on the other side of the map, by the way, because there was a long range zero point. The knife from Ethan found John Cutie in elbow. And so Finesse still thinks that John is lurking, ready to stop him on the rotate. So they just had to run that retake without their cipher. Tragic situation. Yeah. And so. Oh, yeah! Monster on the loose! Crash is there. Trip. Okay. Slight connection, but no one to punish. And once again, three players over towards B, but not choosing to actually put any pressure on the sent players. Now getting into back sights. Oh, man! Just can't stop him. Victor. Seek to do some damage. At least the trade onto Zekia, but not much more for it. Spike planted. The retake timing there. It's a single flash from Ethan that Crashies tries to swing with. Doesn't wait for Victor. And Sen once more winning it. When you don't have time. Just to be taken. Victor looking his way up forwards. That was the old turn. Just from that orb picked up. FNS will not be able to anchor. ADS battles. Ekin just tucking. Dodging his head now out of the danger zone. Still tagged up, and Ethan will finally punish. Still, Victor from behind. Here's the stun. Rebounds, expected oh, that one. And a glide and a dash. Not much more past it. Celsius. Earned his way back up now to this rolling thunder. Full connection. Up into the air. Still at a 1v2. There is a lot to do. Celsius here in the tap. A couple of spray reveals his position. Zom. He wins this fight out, it's an important one. It. Nobody's still sticking this one. He realizes that you can play your time now, Celsius. You can really slow this one down if you so wish. Six bullets left in the chamber. What can you do with it? Ethan sticking, twisting, turning. Not enough bullets. Oh, no way! Oh, the way. No way! There is no opposition to push him away from elbow. It's a refight. Flash over the top as well with the glide. I mean, it's just... Feels improv really, at best there from NRG. They're looking for a way to get back into this round. Ethan, very committed now, onto this corner. Tucks his way deep onto the side with a knife, at least. Seeing that there's three players there, he's got his back to plenty of them. Ten's going walkabouts, crashes, and a born kill for him to collect. Ethan, no, what is that? Somehow the one to make it work and make it happen for them. One now to stand here. This final round of the half, Hunter's Fury, right? In a different direction. 
and now make the pivot through market. Made a defeat. Sure that he can't really follow up from this one. Second getting tacked up. He has to give up that space for the paranoia. Forwards and flying. Still Sentinels. They have that advantage. He's still holding on to it. Cannot win these fights out in RG. Trying their hardest. Try as they may. Still. Sentinels never, ever really taking these solo fights. Always doubled up. Always with an advantage. Standing ahead. In some way or form. And Crashies. He's left to pick up the pieces. Look at how Sen also got their players into the site to actually challenge NRG as they went for the hit. That's not at all the way that NRG were playing when they were on defense. They were passive, a little scared, sat over by Boba. Not willing to throw that utility in and flood defenders often. 30 seconds Crash, left. Crash, he's essentially in an unwinnable spot here. The rest of the team is just going to be sat silent, yeah. realizing that this is not the beginning they wanted to stage two. And the record likely to be going three and four. Sassy. And actually going to be given a lot of this space here, but just gliding forwards. Trip was dealt with. Still, John QT is eager. Down, Draw blood straight from NRG. Flash dodge just from the smoke there. Still, Ethan. There's a collection. There's a double face by the Sentinels players, but they're going to be toppled for their mistake now. It's a 3v3. Signature moves being made by NRG as well. Calling for that pause around that minute mark. They've got plenty of time to work with, but they're back to towards the one angle where Tens decided to just go walkabouts, man. And now you can hear it with the footsteps on the bench in Marv Cut, but they were hoping that the extra coordination and chemistry would allow players to shine. And there's Victor nice. with the Bulldog applying the tons of pressure. Yeah. That's a lovely one. Applied onto Zekin, so he was just a sitting no, no. duck. Victor wants a few more. Lovely flash! This is what you need to see, that coordination between Victor and Ethan. Yeah, he's feeling it. Get the ace! He's he walked pops in! The old, pops the O, pops the O, can hear him, the footsteps, car, and away, John oh. QT! He won't give him anything. Oh! Not the investment of the ult, and still oh, not getting the okay. ace. Risks, I should say, in this spot. Flash in the dart, hello. Oh, caught into the corner, that is disgusting stuff. Victor, can't adjust his aim in time though, but the paranoia is good and true, lands it. Along with the flash, there's waves of util, they still haven't removed Sassy though. Over the top, that's the Dizzy, running and gunning, gets the job done. This is looking nice from NRG, they've actually got some really good plans to set up Victor on this A side. It's gonna require some adjustment from Sentinels. Seven rounds in the lead right now. Dynamic duo yeah. worried about them following up on it, but how are they going to expect this cage up? It's nice. It's real nice, actually. TP backs away. Second still committed. There needs to be a shot found, but no connection again. This time, second falls. Tens with the reposition. Nice and quick onto this one. What on earth? Lots of players, though, are going to be hitting him. He's got to hit some outrageous shots here. Yep, onto the shoulder. And he misses it. Straight through the wall. Lucky to be alive is F and S, but he's here. Yeah. Everybody's, Everybody's here. Everybody, make sure to meet them. Hearing that one with the aftershock. Forwards, trying to make a play, and have a flash peek, and the reclear is just immaculate. Still, all bodies lining up now for these anchoring players, tucked to the corner. Celsius, last alive, and the most to do. Four bullets left, he needs to connect at least a few. This the... is booming right now for NRG. If you look at the money situation and the off anchor by tens, getting not rewarded. Oh. That's shot! What a shocky. That's pinpoint. How the hell did he land that one? All right, on the tens, but he was trying to go for the evacuation. Dizzy not pre fired though, and that does find it. Stun, nade. And Victor, he's not long for this world. Surely not. What? With the movement, Sassy. He's somehow in there getting two. But there's two left to stand. There's no way to send do this. You're going to be joking me. Rolling thunder, pushing back. Crashies. He's stunned up. Second. Sky, the way he moves, it's just fluid in action, sticking now. Zelsus needs to be held, needs to be defended. And second, who takes the fight? And round 19. No time wasted for Victor. Jump spots, those good. They're still doing the operator setup. Oh, but the stun misses this time. And tens this time, able to reposition into a spot where maybe he can have more success. That's a spawn. That's a one-way smoke that they've used to try and get themselves in. I think they expect the tens to be up on top of it. Flash. And forwards, that's Victor, but again, the smoke, it doesn't block him off from the angle, and this is the impetus, the rounder really matters. Victor, I got oh, into his own hands here with a Hunter's Fury, maybe they can set the stage. 
Spike's been picked up. When the hell are they going to start to plant this one? But it's hot feet for John QT. The rocket is dodged. Second glide and dash and slide away. It's a thrash as well. Detainment not in sight. He's dodging everything. And all this Utah being baited out, still about 50 seconds left. Still, crashes on the look, has been caught and found. And the TP reposition of Som, who wants to try and make his way over towards B. Easy access to the site. Victor's got nine lives in this round. He's dodged everything that was coming at him. Some Dan's the health them. still. Yeah. But at the same time, still has a difficult task to do. Combined HP, tiny for Zelsis and Zekken. Can Victor find the timing? A lot of lights onto this That's one, Victor. Three. That's a freebie. And now they know you're positioning still into this 2v2. And this is the map, and this is the series doubled up. Shoulder to shoulder, Sentinels now. Gonna take this one with a bit of that discipline. The Mosh flying, Som finds it. And they've earned themselves more for even. Yeah, this is really nice. Coming into a rifle round, you expect Sen to have made the adaptation, and it, he's so correct. What a read. What call. Victor's gonna plant his feet in through the back of the site. So you can see if he can pull some of that util out, maybe get a cheeky kill inside the smoke. Cage triggered. Yeah, you either Here. force utility out, but then your players in B main have a better time, or they don't use the util. Trying to save it, and maybe you get some freebies, as he up. has done here. He's really being pressured. One and traded, the one and done. Finesse on the reflank, through market. That's going to be a big one. Oh, Pretty. oh. He's still flying forwards. His door needs to be broken, and so he has revealed himself here. Finally, John QT. No way, no Stick. way, sticking. Stick. Ah, defended, second forwards, it's broken. The flank, push back, still half. Can still be one, but again, they got a damage. And the least land the kill, they Need do. Two more. Again, another hit onto B. Thinking, reading the mind game. Sen are like, surely they'll go A this time. Nope, another B exec. Another excellent read from Finesse. That has to be the full retake from Sentinels. It's the exact same round, Finesse in the same position. Victor deep onto site. Yeah, not cleared though from the deep hole, the tens. I mean, that is everybody suppressed. Oh my goodness, Flash. No attempt to punish, he still wants to go for this one. The movement ajar from Sassy. But the wingman still active into the fight. Trying to get onto this one. The fuse disrupted and broken. Mosh pit found. Ethan. The kills are flowing. The feed is filled up. It's all some. The fuse broken. The look bullets. Sentinels. I don't think time. They don't have it enough. Ready is the adaptation here. Can they stop the hit on A? Second revealed, he's close quarters though with the judge and still can't land it. It's Victor, brain supreme into the elbow area. All propped up. Covers a bit of that space here, but what is the call now for NRG? Pause and patience to be played. Sassy re-exploration on his side of things. No punish in sight. Celsius defends. Now they're gonna run this one around with a thrash. Detainment. At least onto the one. And the kill is flowing Spike either way. Spike dropped down. It's a 2v2. Exactly For the deciding round, is the series wrapped up? Now we're going to OT. That is great information from Finesse. He pops his ultimate, realizes that the retake is nowhere near, so they have a free plant, free reposition. But now we're going to see John with one on the other side. So if John has the opportunity, it doesn't look like there's really a corpse for him to use, though. And a double up. Trying to put pressure. Both sides. There it is. There's the info. He lobs it with a neuro FF, gives them prime information with the flash. It's a great connection. Som needs to stay alive. Jiggling with the movement again. Him and Som. They're finesse together. Combined. And that is... Finesse, they're just looking to break the cam. This is such a dangerous piece. So dangerous. Oh, oh, it's it's so man. 30 HP. It is 100% not heading A. Get ready. So the stack is ready to meet them. Already the cage. Dropped up in front of them, Ethan. Underhanded with the flash. Realizes they've already got themselves into the site here with only nine seconds to go. How did he even get a foothold to get the plant down? Sentinels. It's desperation. They've got to try and hold it down. And they do just that. It's a 3v2 now. In the blink of an eye. Crashies. Dancing with death itself there. Stun. Popped up. This is up to Som. Aftershock. Perfect. 
Just about lands here, pushes it away for the first wave and have a tap from Son, but it's going to be the double face to end. It's drawn so many people, but there's no one really to Smoke exploit two. that elsewhere. They're, in the smoke. They're right at his back, and all the players and the wiser! Everybody falls! One left to stand, but crashes cannot do it!